Hey y'all, it's Brandon from Voodoo Forge, and I want to talk to you about these Japanese type saws. And the reason why is I don't care what kind of shop you have, eventually you're going to have to cut something wood. Now my shop's kind of multi-purpose and I have a lot of saws in here. I've got power saws of different kinds, and gas powered, electric powered, and different hand saws, a lot of them. But if I've just got to do something quick, um, and this is the first saw I grab. I use this, this type of saw a lot in handling and things like that. But you can use it to uh, cut dovetails, you can use it to do box joints, you can use it for any kind, anything and any kind of fine carpentry. So let me show you a little bit about it real quick. They're pretty daggum cheap. I mean they're, they're under $30. And you've got um, a crosscut side, which is this fine tooth side, and then a rip side which is this coarse side. Now what that means is the cross cut side is what you cut cross grain. Uh, so you know if you're cutting a stick you know and the grain goes this way you use the cross cut. And if you're cutting into the grain if you're ripping you use the rip side. And that's uh, I use the rip side like if I'm cutting a a kerf on a hammer or an axe handle I use the rip side and then everything else you know of course I use the cross cut side. But uh, let me show you uh, me using it a little bit. The main difference between the Japanese style saws and the American or European style saws is the fact that these Japanese style saws cut on the pull. It's the motion pulling it back is when they cut. Whereas American and European style saws, this is my little dovetail saw, they cut on the push. They cut when you're, you're pushing forward. So you can get a lot more speed with the Japanese style saws after you've used it a few times. But you can get a lot of speed because it's a more natural motion. Now the main disadvantage to the Japanese style saw is they are disposable. Um, they cannot be sharpened. When you end up breaking teeth off, you can you can see how how small the teeth are on the on the cross cut section. But these can be sharpened. These American style saws, the teeth can be set and sharpened, and um, you know, they'll go on for a long time. Japanese style saws, disposable. I'm going to use this uh, dual side pull saw. The smaller teeth are for uh, cutting cross grain, so that's what we're going to use here. You're gonna love these pull sides. So What's up? These things just cut so fast and easy. Okay, so when I was cutting the uh, axe head off, uh, I, I flexed the blade several times when I was doing that and it's not really harmful to the saw but the best way to avoid doing that is just to slow your cut down and see you don't have to put any pressure on this really I'm just I've got one finger laying on top of the handle as you slow it down you can keep that flex Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't do a lot of ripping with a, uh, a hand saw, but just to show you, ripping is when you're cutting into the grain. Oh, this is some hard wood. This might not be the best demonstration here. There we go. Oh, one little far there. There we go. That's how quick and fast that cuts. And I got a little crooked and off line, but that's mainly when I use the rip on one of these. It's for uh, putting a kerf in a handle. So just for poos and giggles here. <laughs> I 
that's how quick. Let's try it with something else. Okay, I didn't want to fool with a cord, so I, I grabbed this little rechargeable job of mine. Um, I go in and getting a battery and getting it over here, that took a couple of minutes. Now I think the power saw had the uh, edge on it and speed, but <clears throat> it took uh, a couple minutes to get it together. I got the saw out of where it goes. I had to grab a battery off the charger and smack that in there and bring it over there. This hangs on a peg on the pegboard. So it's quicker to get, it's lighter. If I've got to cut something on the back of my place, I can grab that little old pull saw. Even if it's, you know, a two by four or something, I can grab it and get it done a lot quicker. Now, of course, if I've got a bunch of stuff to do, I use a power saw. But um, if I've just got one or two things to do, or just a little something, this thing is the way to go. And every time I have to, uh, you know, uh, handle a tool or something like that, I end up using one of these pull saws. So that's where it really comes in handy. And if you've got a, if you've got a little shop or a little, uh, you know, or, or your area is small, and your your emphasis is not on woodworking and you know you you need to have a saw in there because you're going to have to deal with it at some point but you don't necessarily need a power saw you can get a lot done with one of these little pull saws somebody who was real computer savvy would probably splice in a timer right now It's not as fast as a power saw. That's pretty dang quick. So ripping in softwood, once we got it started, this goes pretty simple. Now remember, you don't have to put pressure going forward and just light pressure when you're going back because that's when it's actually cutting. The sawdust that comes out the front is actually the teeth clearing sawdust out that was already cut. That's it. I don't have anything that I'm making right now that I can show you this on, but I can kind of demonstrate it here. You can take these and cut at an angle and that blade will get flat down on wherever you're you're cutting and where i used to use that a lot i used to make these wooden benches and well i still make them but i uh, make these wooden benches and i would hold them together with screws but i'd put a dowel to cover the screw hole and i'd put that set that dowel in there with glue and then wait for it to dry and i could cut it off with a a pull saw and then sand it and it'd be completely flush so that's another advantage they have you can you can get the handle at an angle where you can really cut unusual things with it all right y'all well that's it that uh, hopefully will tell you a little bit about how i use these saws i mean they're really really handy i put a link to them uh down in the description and they're one of those things that yeah i have to get a new one every couple of years they're disposable you can't sharpen them like you can a european or an american style saw but it's it's worth it for you know under 30 bucks to have something the last two years and is as versatile as this, it's really worth it. So, um, like I said, link below. I'm still kind of experimenting with cameras, so let me know what you think about that. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Y'all behave yourselves.